GOG TV's Master of Scaramony since 1973. And whereas Dr. Paul Barra has hosted over 1,000 horrible old movies which have terrorized three generations. And whereas Dr. Paul Barra is the longest running horror movie host in the United States. And whereas Dr. Paul Barra's 20th anniversary celebration will be held at Bush Gardens on Saturday, October the 30th, 1930, 1993, you are old. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, therefore, Sandra Friedman, by, the, by virtue of the authority vested in her as mayor of the city of Tampa, do hereby proclaim October the 30th, 1993, as Dr. Paul Barra Day in the city of Tampa, and urge all citizens to join me in congratulating Dr. Paul Barra. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And thank you. And you're the only recipient to get two proclamations. Wow. <laughs> thank you very much. Paul. Appreciate it. You have been a contributor. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you more ways than one. Oh, yeah, really. And I hope you never let me down. No, I won't. As a matter of fact, I was thinking about running in politics myself when this is all over. And? Well, I'd champion all the dead issues. Of course, I'd have to be a fright-in candidate, you know. <laughs> Dr. Paul Bearer's 20th anniversary special, starring who else? Dr. Paul Bearer, with goblins of fun and laughter. <laughs> and here he is, live from Bush Gardens, your master of ceremonies, Dr. Paul Bearer. Well, we certainly want to thank Mayor Sandy Friedman for declaring today Dr. Paul Bearer Day here in uh, the Tampa St. Petersburg area. And we're coming to you live, about as live as we get, from uh, Bush Gardens. In fact, we're right in the middle of the Kumba roller coaster, which when translated, Kumba means beast. We have quite a few little monsters out here riding the Kumba roller coaster today. But getting back to Mayor Sandy Friedman, we certainly want to thank her for making this Dr. Paul Bear Day. And I was talking to her last week, and I said, Sandy, you really ought to let your fingernails grow between now and Christmas time, because then during the Gould Tide season, they can call you Sandy Claus. <laughs> Very little humor there, but anyway, moving right along. Uh, today, this is gonna be a retrospect of uh, some of the stuff we've done over the past 20 years. We're celebrating our 20th anniversary on Creature Feature, and uh, we managed to save some of the older bits going back to the early 70s and mid 70s, and that's what you're gonna be seeing for the first 30 minutes here before the regular Creature Feature show. And during this retrospect, right up front, I'd certainly like to thank everyone who has watched Creature Feature over the years and made it possible for Dr. Paul Barra to still be in the Tenement Castle 20 years later. And I'm uh, very grateful for that. With your help, we'll just keep right on being in the Tenement Castle. Tell you what, let's take a minute out here for uh, and pay the rent, and we'll be right back and get things started, okay? Gardens, and we're right in the middle of the Kumba roller coaster. Kumba means beast in Swahili. Uh, I think in English it means I wish I hadn't eaten that barf burger <laughs> after you ride it. But uh, it is a thrilling ride. Last three minutes, believe it or not. That's the longest, fastest metal roller coaster in the southeastern United States. Well, anyway, let's get back to what we're doing. About 30 minutes of <coughs> uh, retrospect. Don't worry. <coughs> it's not the cough that carries you off. It's the coughing that carries you off in that you got to worry about. Anyway, getting back to what we're doing now is a retrospect of some of the bits we've done over the years uh, with Dr. Paul Barra on uh, Creature Feature. We've had a lot of guests on the show. We've had uh, uh, a lot of products we've uh, fooled around with. We've been up in the music room decomposing some music. Somebody told me if we really started this retrospect, I'd really be opening a can of worms. <clears throat> well, what the heck? Let's open the worms and get started. Pretty good looking worm too. So while I enjoy my worm, you enjoy the first part of some of the past. <laughs> good. <laughs> this being the Saturday before Mummy's Day, Mummy's Day being tomorrow, uh, my mummy is supposed to come by and visit me this afternoon. <laughs> That must be her now. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen her in a long time, I'll tell you that. Well, come in, come in, mummy. <laughs> Well, 
Well, it's good to see you. By golly, you're wrapped real well today. Sorry I didn't meet you at the airport like I promised to. Well, I couldn't help it. I had to work overtime at the funeral parlor. If you're going to act like that, I'm sorry you even came. <laughs> hey, could be somebody to rent the room now. <laughs> Let me check the door. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. Darn thing was about to stick on me. Bill, hello. Well, good afternoon. Come in, whoever yes. you are. <laughs> are you Dr. Paul Bear? Yes. 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 Uh, do who, you... are, who are you? Oh, forgive me. Permit me to introduce myself. My name is Fang Sinatra. Fang Sinatra? Yes, but you can call me Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes. Yes. I you ran see. you ran the ad in the in the Transylvania Times. Yes, yes. That's about the it. about the tomb for rent. Oh, I see the upstairs room. It's an upstairs room you have. Yes. You, you don't have anything perhaps uh, a little lower down. Like what? Like uh, the basement. The basement? Or maybe even You mean you want to live in the basement? Yeah, the lower the better, you know. <laughs> hey Buck, how is this for an unusual name? Yeah. Dr. Paul Barra of WTOG, St. Petersburg, Florida. You know, Roy, that's not really unusual, because everybody's heard of St. Petersburg, Florida. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Paul Barrow, did you know that Archie Campbell smokes quarter cigars? Yeah, I know. Somebody's already smoked the other three quarters. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, this is from Patty from Cincinnati, whom we met at the Sun and Fun Festival Parade in Clearwater. <laughs> she said, I enjoyed meeting you at the Sun and Fun Festival Parade, and I just wanted to tell you that I think you have a beautiful body. Well, thank you very much, Patty, and I agree with you. I think I do have a beautiful body, and I keep it right over here. <laughs> You know, I've been expecting my old school chum, Jack the Ripper, to come by today. Hey, maybe that's him now. <laughs> anyway, let me see who's at the door. <laughs> Man, I can't seem to get the door to open. <laughs> oh, there it is. I'll get this thing fixed one of these days. Well, Dr. son of a gun. Jack, Dr. good to see you. Good to see you. Been a long time, yes, yes sir. <laughs> Never forget our old school days together. Oh, yes. We were a couple of cut-ups, weren't oh, we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I wish I'd said that. <laughs> well, Jack, you know, in spite of all the good times we had at cutting you, our old pre-med school. Never forget it. There's one thing I always wanted to know. Well, we're old school chums. You can ask me anything, my all good right. man. I was always curious why they called you Jack the Ripper. Why do they call me Jack the Ripper? Yeah, yeah, that's You it. want to know why, why they, they call me right. Jack the Ripper? Yeah, why do they call you Jack? Why? Well, I mean, you don't have to get all of them. Why, do they, why just... do they call me Jack the Ripper? Yeah, that's you the question. Want, you ask that's me a simple question, why you know. they call me Jack the Ripper? That's it. Why do they call me Jack the Ripper? Yeah, that's Why it. do they call me Jack the Ripper? One of my best friends uh, is visiting in the tenement castle, Irma Broombeck. <laughs> good to have you with us, Irma. <laughs> Hi, it's good to be here. Yeah, she flew in and parked her broom in the closet. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Irma, I've been wanting to ask you, do you tell fortunes? Yeah, I tell fortunes. Do you yeah. really? Oh, I'd love to have my fortune told. Can you tell my fortune? Yeah, I can read palms. Oh, you can read palms? Would you like your palm read? Oh, I'd love to have my palm read. Okay, I've <laughs> been wanting this for a long time. There you are. Telling you, well, that's one time I can say I really had my palm red. <laughs> I don't know about you. Let's go back and watch some more of a horror blow movie. <laughs> 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 Guests and people we've had on uh, Creature Feature. The absolute first one was a character called Witch Hazel who used to fly in on a broom and, and crash land through the picture window, and then she had trouble getting it started to fly back out. And then uh, that led to the invisible saleswoman who came in. She sold vanishing cream and got to be too warm, so I offered to make herself comfortable, and she took off all our clothes, and we had the first. Uh, invisible naked woman on television right there on Creature Feature, which led to our annual Miss Invisible Woman beauty pageant, which uh, we still do from time to time. And the newest creature, our guest, will be introduced later on on our regular program between noon and two today, and that's Satara the Sorceress. You'll meet her a little later on. <laughs>